You've probably heard of Sirius, the brightest star in our sky, but how much do you really know about this famous object? Known as the Dog Star, Sirius is part of Canis Major, a constellation in our southern hemisphere. Historically, we've seen Sirius in some of the earliest astronomical records. The ancient Egyptians worshipped the star as a goddess and used it to mark the beginning of annual flooding along the Nile. The Greeks, however, had a more negative outlook, with Sirius representing the oppressive heat of summer. So it's no surprise that Sirius comes from the Greek word Sirios, which means scorching or glowing. And boy does this star glow, and an apparent magnitude of negative 1.46, Sirius is almost twice as bright as the second brightest star, Canopus. So why is Sirius so bright compared to other stars? A couple factors play a role. Foremost, Sirius is quite close to us, only 8.6 light years away, which makes it one of the nearest star systems to Earth. And while there are about six closer stars or star systems, Sirius is inherently a very bright star, about 25 times more luminous than our own sun. But probably the biggest unknown fact about Sirius is that it's actually two stars. Sirius is technically a binary star system featuring two stars bound together by gravity, or more accurately, a star at a stellar remnant. This consists of a bright A-type main sequence star, Sirius A, and a smaller and much dimmer white dwarf, Sirius B. These two objects orbit each other every 50 years or so. Okay, an A-type main sequence star sounds complex, but what does that really mean? It's surprisingly straightforward. These stars are in a stable stage of their life cycle, using hydrogen as their primary fuel source to create an intense nuclear fusion reaction. The incredible energy from this event holds the star together and creates the light we can see across vast distances. Main sequence stars make up around 90% of the stars in our universe. The mass of these stars determines how long they will live. For example, our sun will be around as a main sequence star for about 10 billion years or so. On the other hand, Sirius has about two times the mass of our sun and will burn through this fuel in about a billion years. Its smaller companion, Sirius B, was once a main sequence star before it grew into a red giant and shrank into the white dwarf we see today. Speaking of this tiny neighbor, it's thought that the Sirius star system is around 230 million years old and likely started as two bluish white stars orbiting each other. When both of these stars were shining bright, they would be luminous enough to cast shadows on Earth. In galactic terms, Sirius is relatively young, about 20 times younger than our sun, which is around 4.6 billion years old. All right, so that's the star system Sirius. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned a bit about the brightest star shining in our night sky. If you have any questions about Sirius or have a suggestion for our next video, just let us know in the comments.